graduate of the Rolfing Institute. Actually, I got certified uh, 40 years ago. So two weeks ago, I had a special post on that. I'm very happy that I chose that pathway. And Rolfing today is much more advanced than when I did my basic training. It's definitely one of the best schools in terms of fascia-oriented manipulation. There are many other good schools where I, uh, I'm often traveling and speak for many other schools, manual therapy schools. I have deep respect for them. But the Rolfers were the first one to focus on fascia rather than having it as a side product of the nervous system, of the circulatory system, or of the muscular system. Yes, there has been connective tissue massage, but they used fascia in order to change the visceral organs. But to change fascia in organ, in, in order to change posture and movement, was uh, Eiderov genius inside. And our school has 50 years experience in systematic teaching. We are uh, having the nose a few millimeters forward in terms <laughs> of being pioneer in research. So it's definitely a great, cho uh, a great choice to study structural integration and fascia-oriented manipulation with the Rolfing School. I can highly recommend it. Thanks to Eiderov for having brought this, brought this out. I mean, she wasn't the first but she organized it in a way that those of us who aren't as bright as her could, could do it. So what I tell people is, I'm not a genius. Ida Rolf was, so I do it her way. <laughs> the new information that we're getting from the neuroscience is telling us that the way we are working, we are approaching the person to a multi-level uh, perspective. And I think that that's probably uh, one of the unique professions that they're doing this. So I think that these are very good news for us. What makes the concept around Rolfing unique is that we do not treat the fascia to make the fascia better. Mm. We are actually not interested in the fascia. The fascia is just an avenue that allows us to work with the shape, the inner shape and the outside shape and the movement pattern of the organism. And that makes it very, very complicated in relationship to the field of gravity. Because our body is influenced by genetics, by our learning capacities, by mechanical impact, by emotional impact, psychological, even philosophical impact in a certain degree. But the way how all this impact, together with the impact that Rolfa does with the hands, Aside of all this impact, gravity is acting permanently on us and makes us in the aging pr process collapse like this or supports us at a decent level of vitality according to our age. We work with fascia and fascia surrounds everything. So I can work with the neuromuscular system, I can work with the nervous system, I can work with the coordination system, um, I can work with the organs. And in this day and age, the nervous system is very important too in the polyvagal aspect of our structure because our whole world has a lot of upregulation and the speed is very quick. And being able to work with people to continue to be embodied also means being able to help them in their nervous system and their neuroendocrine system find more of a base. In my experience, Rolfing is unique because, of course, we work with fascia and we have been pioneering in this field, but the fascia is a tool through which we communicate for, you know, for having a dialogue with the system of our client in a way that is allowing this person to express fully with all his capacity and potential in the world. So, the goal is not to change fascia, this is, I mean, it's not relevant because Everybody can do it so well right now, but what is the project that is behind me touching through the fascia, a system, a living system? There are many schools of posture, many schools of movement, many schools that work around fascia. And for me, what is unique to Rolfing is that it takes care of both the structural level, the coordination, the perception, and the meaning, what it does to people. If you're, if you're a soccer player, uh, Rolfing can help you to become more fast or it can help you to prevent uh, knee problems. Um, if you're sitting all day behind your desk, Rolfing can help you to sit better and to have a more healthy back while you're sitting all day. Uh, if you're getting older, 
uh, you're getting problems with movement. Rolfing can help you to move more fluidly and uh, feel lighter and, and enjoy life more. If, you, uh, if you're a child growing up, rolfing can help you to grow up in a more symmetric way than maybe you're doing right now. So uh, rolfing is for many people. I would really recommend Rolfing. Try rolfing. And it is amazing how different they start feeling. Uh, because they often are struggling with different pain issues in, in their body and, and re, re, you know, the pain comes back, it doesn't go away always, it, comes, it goes away for a bit and then it comes back. These people particularly, I, I suggest, but you know, there's loads of things, you know, people that have had an operation, you know, I think actually need, need rolfing. Um, you know, um, there's, I mean, oh my god, I mean, it's just like, how long is the list? And I think rolfing is just how, you know, we, we follow a lineage and it hasn't been broken. We've been very careful to keep our brand um, pure. And, um, and, uh, and we're, when, when you see a fellow rolfer, you know they've had a good training and they'll be good. You don't even know, have to see how they work. You just know that their training will make them a good practitioner. This idea that gravity supports us and gravity is always there and we struggle with gravity was in my flesh, mm. was really in my flesh. Mm. So without thinking and without knowledge but with a very deep embodiment sensation of how can I live my life easier? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And this is what I like to teach actually. Mm. Yeah. Gravity. That we have gravity and that we are conscious about how gravity acts on our body. For me, as a rolfer, it's about trying to help people find their best potential and to help people find their greatest ease in their body. And I like to think that if my body is where I live 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, then I'd like it to be as comfortable as it could be. We can change people's lives in a very short amount of time. And it, it, it constantly boggles my mind how many times people come to me, and no doubt everybody, in the rolfing field, and they've tried everything else, and then they get work done by us, and they're amazed that they're able to get, uh, get relief, whatever they're searching for. Rolfers are with the people, with the whole person. So it's not the people say, I have pain in my foot, and... Uh, you ask for all kinds of data, you watch on the paper, no, you're with the people, you see, why, why is your foot hurting? Because maybe you have other parts of your body that are related to the foot. So we watch the whole person, we are with the whole person, and we work with uh, time for them. What is nice is that very slowly we get people to find an easy place in gravity so that little by little they don't need to do all of this and they can be who they are which is not, you know, just so easy to be today, to be who you are. But I think we provide a space for people to, to really feel that and embody that and go in life with that. I think we are using the fascia as a, call it a medium to enter the system, not only the body, but, you know, it's more than just the body. And uh, this is our medium, how to enter the whole thing. And we work on different levels. Work structurally, functionally, psychobiologically, we address meanings, which all you can see in a posture. I had a way before all this uh, research started. I mean, she just knew. She just knew. This woman was really a, a pioneer, you know, she really had a vision. She, yeah. she saw the future. Yeah. They are scientists, not just people in complementary medicine, but real biomedical researchers are looking at the tissue that Eidorov called the organ of form at fascia. Uh, it was known before that it's there, we didn't discover it, but it was more or less treated as a Cinderella wrapping. And, and nothing more. But now the research, and you would have never gone there uh, without the impulse and the insights from Ida Wolf, has shown that fascia has many, many more properties. And we were talking about quality. The Rolf Institute has recently adopted a tagline called We Hold a Higher Standard. Because for us, it's really about educational quality. And when you talk about educational quality, you're not really talking about um, something the school does, you're talking about what the students do. It's all about student learning outcomes. And measuring success in an educational setting 
isn't about the faculty, it isn't about administration, it is bottom line about making sure your students are prepared to meet the highest standards. It had a very profound effect on my body and, and my, my experience of living after rolfing was so much different. So that's what made me want to be a rolfer and train in rolfing and uh, my training was excellent and I think we've only improved. I think this is the, the special thing about our training is that it's a very big emphasis of getting it into your system and that does take us time. And it's more, more so much of a cognitive approach that you then get by different techniques into your hands. It's really that you get it into your body and of course with the knowledge that you're being taught in anatomy and touch and movement. But it's really that you, you digest this and by what you have embodied, you learn and have the capability to actually work. Movement is very important nowadays. Everybody wants to do fitness and this technique and that technique and techniques come so fast and change so much. And movement is vital. But how do you how do you move? How much are you aware of the way you move? What's the consciousness you bring to your movement? How much is related to the gravity, which constantly we have to negotiate with? How much is related to space? How much we're just uh, pumping concentric forces or being more into a relationship with the outside world? In the movement work, we want to elicit this quality of organic movement where we don't use the will of the power to overcome our capacity to organize a physiological and economical movement, but we can transfer this capacity to be in balance with gravity, whatever action. That rolfing is nothing you do, or the rolf movement is nothing where what you do exercises 20 minutes a day. It's something you really integrate in your movement, in your daily life movement. What I think that it's very special for uh, in the the rolfing training that some other uh, trainees they don't have it is that you go through your own process first so you you have really an idea of what is the work from your own experience from your somatic experience I find that having an institution you know that has its in its mission you know keeping the work keeping mm. research keeping uh, the differences withheld I find that this is very healthy for the development of a new science and a new perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah. At first, uh, education seemed a bit costly to me, mm -hmm. but then going to the spectrum, I mm -hmm. saw the quality of teachers we had. And we had teachers, you know, who've been rolfing and in this for 30 years. Small cl uh, classes and very qualified teachers, mm -hmm. which proved to me that no matter how expensive this education could be, mm. it's quality yeah. and yeah. it's what I'm looking for. Plus tradition, you know, we've been on the game for yeah. over 40 years, yeah. you know, yeah. 50 years, even more, yeah. you know. Yeah. So because of that, I think that we, we have put a lot of energy into research, a lot of energy yeah. into discussing different points of view, a lot of energy into allowing you know the the work to take f forms that are more mature mm -hmm. while many of the other schools you know if i am to say if they develop one aspect or one point of view it stays within that point of view i have a lot of dancers who come to me who are suffering from chronic pain and they've been to osteopath and different therapists and usually the pain goes away for a little while and then it comes back and they come to really find you know what's causing their pains. In general, because I spent many years in chronic pain, in general I don't think we need to live in chronic pain. We just need to find a pathway away from it. And rolfing is a great vehicle for that. Joy rolfing it's it's the best we can do in how we can help people. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, it's, it's such a nice therapy to, to go through that I, I would suggest to everybody to do it. No matter what you're doing, doing the rolfing training will enrich your life and give it another meaning. So do it.